Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you my Orion Ray 2 This is my first diverse, diverse watch, so I'm still new to this kind of thing I was comparing this with the Seiko SKX and as you know it, the Seiko is an iconic watch but at the end of the day I decided to buy the Orion cause I just think the quality is much better like for example the bezel is much more solid and tough than the Seiko it, it's a bit heavy if I can be honest but you know it, it's solid it's very strong <laughs> it, it requires a little bit strength to move it but anyway yeah that's high quality uh, and then it's the same thing with the crown it's solid, it's strong, and also heavy. Oh, and um, it's automatic, but it's also you can also manually wind it, which is nice. Yeah, it ha when when I wind it, there's this very nice mechanical sound. I just like doing it, even though I usually prefer automatic. Um. Yeah, it's it, it's a bit heavy. Yeah, it's a man's watch. <laughs> it's a man's watch. You you really need strength to operate the bezel and crown. And this this is the blue one. There's the black one and the blue one. The di the main difference is that the black one has made dial. This one is metallic blue. And they they call it sunburst effect, yeah. Um, mm, I, I like the sunburst effect because it gives the watch a richer looks, but sometimes it makes the dial looks messy. Mm, oh yeah, and the the hour marks are dots, and I quite like it because it's very very easy. It's very quick to read, like. You know, just a few second glance and then I know what time is it mm. I also like the second hand arrow it's red like it stands out from the whole watch because it's the only thing that's red apart from the Orion logo oh yeah and the Orion logo is the Orion logo is chrome it has some nice chrome details the the Seiko's logo is still print out, so yeah, it's a neck, it's a bonus. And on the crown, there's the there's a little there's a little Orion logo on the crown, which is a nice little detail. Yeah, and that's that's what the that's what this watch is all about. It's about the build quality and the little details, something that's I think better than the Seiko. And the uh, the only thing, well, not the only thing. I mean, one of the things that may be a little bit disappointing is that it's not ISO certified. Like the Seiko is ISO certified. Uh, and, you know, I I just wish I just I just want something more functional, even though I will never take it to to hundred meters depth. Oh, and yeah, the bracelet. Uh, a lot of owners don't like the bracelet and I'm one of them actually it, it feels loosely I mean I mean the point of the point of a metal bracelet is to feel solid this one doesn't but you know I, I've tried the Seiko's bracelet and I think the Seiko is actually worse yeah so this is a little bit better than the Seiko the Seiko's the Seiko's bracelet is it, it looks scratchy. This one it, this one has a has a nice polishing. Yeah, but still it doesn't feel solid. When I wear it, sometimes I feel like you know. Sometimes I'm worried if it, it's. It, sometimes I'm worried if the bracelet is not strong enough. Um, what else? 
Mm, yeah. Oh yeah. This is the back. Nothing really special. So yeah. So this is how it look like on my wrist. I, I got a very small wrist and this fits quite well to my wrist. It's a very great watch if you have a small wrist like mine. Um, I think it's slimmer than the Seiko SKX. Yeah, I think it, I think it's slimmer. It it's pretty light thanks to its size. Again, the bracelet feels loosely. It doesn't feel strong. Doesn't feel solid. But anyway, it's pretty comfortable actually. Hey, um, I forgot to tell you that um, when I put the watch in a drawer for more than six hours, um, somehow the glass starts to look whitish. It's not foggy, but it looks whitish, like it reflects too much light. But once I put it outside and leave it for a few minutes, it starts to get back to normal. Yeah, I think that's the only problem that I have with this watch. Um, uh, um, my other watches aren't like that. I, I put this watch on the same drawer with the other watches and this is the only watch that has that problem. But other than that, uh, other than that, it's it never had any problem. Yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching.